In this lecture, let's mainly discuss about the ductal sex differentiation. Guys, during a sixth week of gestation, both the male and female embryos, both the embryos will have a pair of Mullerian duct as well as Wolfian duct. Okay, so let me write it here. That's a very important statement. Both a male and female embryo, both male and female embryo will have a pair of, one pair of Wolfian duct and one pair of Mullerian duct. Which means a Mullerian duct is even present in the male embryo and Wolfian duct during gestation it's even present in a female embryo. Now, having said that, guys, please concentrate the timeline of events which we are going to discuss right now are happening during a 7th and 8th week. Okay, so during 7th and 8th week, the events will happen. Okay, those events which we are going to discuss right now, these will happen during 7th and 8th week. Guys, let's see. If it's a male embryo, let's talk with the male embryo. If it's a male embryo, then this male embryo will have X chromosome and Y chromosome. On the Y chromosome, there is SRY gene. SRY gene is present. This SRY gene will code for a transcription factor known as testis determining factor. And this testis determining factor will help in the formation of testis. We know this. Now inside this testis, we have two different types of cells, which are one serotoli cell, one is a serotoli cell and second one is a leading cell. Two different types of cells are there. Okay. Now, now the serotoli cell, for example, I am highlighting, for example, let me take a different color. Now this serotoli cell, it will produce a hormone known as Mullerian inhibiting factor or anti-Mullerian hormone. So first important MCQ, Mullerian inhibiting factor is produced by which cells? The serotoli cells. Where are the serotoli cells present? The serotoli cells are present inside the testis. Now, this Mullerian inhibiting factor in a male fetus will inhibit the expression of Mullerian ducts. So, if someone asks you why a Mullerian duct is inhibited or involuted in a male embryo, because in a male embryo, this anti-Mullerian hormone will inhibit the development of Mullerian duct. So, you can clearly see here there is a degeneration of paramesonephric duct or Mullerian duct. So, whenever this para like you know, paramesonephric duct or Mullerian duct is inhibited, its derivatives, example like uterus, fallopian tubes, cervix, upper, upper two third of vagina, they are not developed in a male embryo. It's very clear. Now, let's see about the leading cells. Now, Leading cells inside a testis will produce a testosterone. Now, this testosterone will be converted into dihydrotestosterone. Now, under the influence of this dihydrotestosterone, what happens? Please concentrate. First, concentrate here. Now, this testosterone is helping in the expression of Wolfian duct. So, why a Wolfian duct is expressed in a male fetus or male like you no know, embryo? The expression of Wolfian duct in a male is under the influence of a testosterone. This testosterone is helping in the expression of this Wolfian duct. So, this Wolfian duct, it will get expressed and helps in the formation of this a male internal genitalia or male internal reproductive organs. For example, like seminal vesicles. So, from this Wolfian duct, 
a seminal a vesicle is formed ejaculatory duct is formed and epididymis okay epididymis is formed and ductus difference okay ductus difference also known as vas difference you can remember the derivatives of a wolfian duct with a mnemonic seed s e e d so these are the derivatives of wolfian duct in a male now also concentrate guys the dihydrotestosterone which is a potent form of a testosterone it's helping in the formation of male external genitalia also on one hand it's helping in the formation of internal reproductive organs or internal genitalia on the other hand the same testosterone is getting converted into dihydrotestosterone with the help of enzyme 5 alpha reductase okay let me write it here 5 alpha reductase this 5 alpha reductase is helping in the conversion of testosterone into more potent androgen that is dihydrotestosterone the same dihydrotestosterone also helping the formation of external genitalia along with a prostate having seen this let's see about the ductal expression in a female how the mullerian ducts are expressed in a female guys from here if you understood like you know if you if you understand this concept it will be very easier to see the ductal expression in a female. Now, a female will have two X chromosomes. A female will have two X chromosomes. So, there is no Y chromosome. So, whenever there is no Y chromosome, there is no SRY gene. Whenever there is no SRY gene, there is no testis determinating factor, no development of testis. Instead of testis, there is development of ovaries. Okay. Now, inside a ovary, you cannot expect a serotonin cell. So, there is no production of anti mullerian hormone or mullerian inhibiting factor in a female. So, whenever there is no mullerian inhibiting factor, the mullerian duct is going to be expressed in a female embryo so because of the absence of mullerian inhibiting factor what happens in a female so in females i am talking about now in females in a females mullerian ducts mullerian ducts are expressed So, what are the expressed products or what are the derivatives of this Mullerian duct? So, in a female, this Mullerian ducts will form fallopian tubes. Uterus. Cervix. And upper two third of. vagina okay so these are the derivatives of mullerian duct now let's see here in a female there are no leading cells and there is no testosterone in a female so due to absence of due to absence of testosterone What happens due to absence of testosterone in a female? The Wolfian ducts. Usually, please concentrate, guys. Testosterone is helping in the expression of Wolfian ducts. But due to absence of testosterone in a female, the Wolfian ducts are 
are regressed. So why a Wolfian ducts are regressed in a female? Due to absence of testosterone. Why Mullerian ducts are regressed in a male? Due to presence of anti-Mullerian hormone from serotonin cells. So Wolfian ducts are regressed and present as a are present as appendix of testis. So appendix of testis, appendix of a testis. Now this appendix of testis is nothing but the remnant of Wolfian ducts in a female. Now, in a male, the paramesonephric ducts, also known as Mullerian ducts, they are regressed and they are present as a remnant. Okay, so the Wolfian ducts are regressed in a female and present as a Gartner's duct. But also remember, the Mullerian ducts, the Mullerian ducts in a male are regressed and these Mullerian remnants in a male are known as, let me write it here, the Mullerian duct remnant in males is appendix of testis okay so these are uh, two important mcqs which you should never miss appendix of testis is mullerian duct remnant in a male and gartner's duct is wolfian duct remnant in a, a female so this is how the ducts, Mullerian duct and a paramesonephric duct are expressed in different sexes.